Okay, this is a short video on creating a custom number format for using with numbers in Excel. So um, numbers formats or number styles are listed here on the ribbon on the home page in the number group here. And they're just the um, basic styles that we've been using. Um, here's currency. Here's comma, here's, uh, let's see, there's some other styles here, percentage. And these styles can be um, designed in many different ways. So for this one, for the accounting style, um, not only is there a dollar sign, there's also a comma for any value over 999. So for instance, if I change this to 900, It'll just have the comma, but obviously no, I mean the, the dollar sign, but no comma. And um, let me get to have the number in there. And also there's two decimal points, which uh, could be um, reduced here by using the decrease decimal option if we wanted to. Okay, <clears throat> I'm going to change these back to this default style, which is general. Now, what if we wanted to have our own special <clears throat> number style other than what's currently listed? So we can do that, and I'm going to show you here in a second, but I just want to go over some of the ground rules with working with styles um, in Excel. So first of all, or with formatting, first of all, if I were to type in the word dollars here. You can see that the value that was in here changes alignment compared to the other ones. And as soon as I type text into the cell with the number, Excel automatically identifies the data in that cell as text, not as a number. And so let me undo that. So you can see if I use the auto sum button to add these up, here's the total that I get, 91,708. But if I have some text in there and I try to add those up, I get a total different, a completely different um, total because Excel is ignoring this cell that has the text in it. And the only way to make that work would be to type the word dollars over here. And then just fill it down. You can see I've got dollars here. Hold that. And then I can still do a sum and get the correct total. Okay. So now, what if I want to, what if I can't put any label in the cells next to these numbers for some reason? Um, I've got to use those cells for something else. So that's where setting up a custom number format comes into play. So we're going to go through that right now. So I'm going to go over here to the number area and click the drop down arrow and go all the way to the bottom to more number formats. And that shows some formats. In fact, if I click on special, you can see their zip code for phone number, social security number where they would be putting in um, hyphens for the phone number or social security number, for example. But I'm gonna go to custom and there's a whole list of custom number formats that Excel um, has already uh, put in here. I'm going to um, sort of highlight a couple of these, this one and this one. So these are formats where um, if you were to use these formats, um, the, a comma would be placed in automatically when the number was over 999. And on this one, there'd be two decimal points automatically placed in as well. Um, we're gonna, I'm gonna start with this particular format. 
then I'm going to add my own text next to it. To do that, I have to click up into this type box and I start it with a quotation mark. And I'm going to enter in a space bar so my text is not smashed up against the number. There'll be a, a space in between. And let's say we want to have those numbers um, that are listed here actually signify numbers of bugs in some kind of a research project. So I'm going to add the word bugs, and then I have to um, end it with a closing quotation mark. And I just went ahead and hit enter. I can click OK as well. Now I'm going to go ahead and select this range and come down here to more number of formats. And I'll go to my custom list. And now if I scroll all the way to the bottom, there's the custom number format that I just created. And I'm going to click OK. And there's what it looks like. And if I do an auto sum, we're going to get the correct sum of these numbers, <clears throat> 91,708. That was the original total without the format. Now, let's say we didn't want the decimals. I can still use the decrease decimal button to get rid of the de decimals, but the formatting still stays. And you can see that they're all aligned correctly um, using that number, that custom number style. So that's how you create your own custom number style format for working with numbers in Excel.